What is up everybody, Danos Racing 35 here. I'm in my room, it is 2.18 in the morning. Um, I am going to be unboxing uh, and looking at in somewhat good detail uh, the Kato V11 uh, variation set. Um, I've seen a couple different you know, looks at it on YouTube, but I have not seen an unboxing, nor have I seen uh, anybody, you know, actually showing the track itself up close. So that's what I'm going to do because I'm sure there's people out there such as myself, you know, a few days ago that wanted to see this up close. Um, I have taken this out of the box. I did my best to put it back in the box. Um, it worked fairly well. Uh, <laughs> but um, I want to give a shout out to uh, my homies. No, not really, but um, my good friends, if you can see that. Um, let me get this right. There we go. Uh, my buddies at the Hobby Emporium, they're in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. Um, especially, uh, Ian K. Um, I went in there, uh, yesterday, technically. And, uh, he was ridiculously nice. Um, I, I, I couldn't have asked for a better experience. Um, we, we sat down, talked about trains, we talked about, you know, different layout ideas. We talked about the all the different uh, issues that people have with this type of track, the Kato uh, Unitrack. There's a lot that we accomplished in a short, you know, 45 minute time period. So without uh, further ado, oh, by the way, um, they uh, they have they I don't believe they have a website, but they have uh, if you go on Facebook.com forward slash Hobby Emporium, uh, you can find them on there. Um, they're at Tingsboro, Massachusetts, and their telephone number is 978-649-5055. Uh, they're, they're awesome. They got, like, everything. They got models. They got trains, HO, N-Gage. I think I saw some O-Gage. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they got military models. They got, um, uh, they got, like, Revel models. They got the other ones, the, um, uh, the Tamiya models. I saw a few RC planes. Um, I'm not sure if they have like Traxxas cars or anything like that, but um, from what I saw, it was very impressive. Oh, they got um, slot cars, uh, scale electric or scale sec sec whatever it is. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna reposition the camera, come back, and uh, I'm gonna open this box. All right, so I lied about repositioning the box, but uh, I just kind of made it easier for myself. To open, I undid the little flap, and there we go. And that's got the little, it's got a convenient little carrying, I don't know, you can glue that to your cat or something, I don't know. <coughs> don't glue it to your cat. But anyways, this is what it comes with. Um, and then now I'm going to reposition the camera. I'm going to take all this out, uh, and you will see it in explicit uh, detail. All right, so I have the parts and pieces all set up right here in front of me. The kit comes with eight uh, super elevated pieces. That's what they're called, or that's what the uh, the manual says, at least. And it comes with seven straight pieces. Um, with these guys, you can actually make up a straight piece out of the pieces supplied so if you wanted to run you know a, an, a decent sized oval uh, you could um, this guy is just a half section of the straight this is a quarter section of the straight and this guy is actually the feeder track it has two sections where you can plug two separate um, feeder wires into and it's actually it, they, they are supplied uh, I neglected to mention that <clears throat> I have them right here they're just bunched up and uh, it's pretty neat that they include that <clears throat> um, if you want to run two separate trains on these uh, these tracks you will need either two power packs so you can control the trains, or you'll need this guy right here. 
Um, it basically, it's a splitter. It basically turns one of those feeder wires into three. And this is sold by Kato. I bought it for like, it was like six and a half dollars. It was nothing. So, um, these guys right here, they're known as approach tracks. It's got flat, even here, so you can connect it to the straight, and then in the middle here, it's, uh, you can take it apart, and it goes into the banking, if you can actually, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's not banked here, and then it is here. I don't know. Um, you know what? Hang on. Let me see. This is the not banked side. Is it? No. So this is the banked side. This is the not banked side. I'm not sure because I'm moving if you'll be able to see that. But uh, I will show it in a different angle uh, in a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of my Superliner cars and put them on here to show you. And, and I'm going to put the camera flat, like straight up and down, so you can actually see <clears throat> what's going on. Uh, you get a re-railer, and you get the little tool to take the uh, the rail joiners apart or off of the uh, the Unitrack. All, all in all, I think that this is a really neat set. Um, from what I've, uh, you know, I've messed around with it for about a day, and well, I've only had it for a day, so... <laughs> I've, I've messed around with it for a little bit, enough to, to get the hang of it and all that stuff. Um, another cool thing is that if, like, let's say you wanted to put a switch or a turnout or whatever on there, you could actually take a Kato Unitrack turnout and put it on here, and then an equal length um, Unitrack uh, piece. And, you know, as long as if you have, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, the same on the other side of this as it is, on this side. I can't think of it right now. So, there we go. <laughs> My college level grammar is uh, failing me at the moment. But yes, um, that's going to drive me crazy until I think of it. If you uh, if you wanted to do that, you can you can uh, and have a turnout on one of the tracks or on both of them if you want to put two uh, opposite facing or whatever you want. The, uh, the, the possibilities are endless, as they say. So, um, I'm going to set a very small amount of this track up and uh, reposition the camera, and yeah. Alright, so I'm back. I have a short section of track set up. I have one of the longer straight tracks. I have an approach track, and then I have a super elevated curve. These guys are obviously unpowered. I don't have any power hooked up to it. Uh, and then due to the slope of my desk, they tend to move by themselves. Um, but I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a banking to the corner. Uh, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit. Um, let's see. I can't figure this out. Yeah, that's not gonna do it any justice. Um, but there's a, it's a slight banking to the corner. I personally think it's a very nice touch. Um, maybe if I push these guys a little more, you can see. Um, as this goes into the corner, it kind of tips. And then as it comes out of the corner, it goes more straight up and down. I'm not sure if you can see that. I don't really know how to get that on camera well. Um, I'm filming with a GoPro, and it's kind of slightly bulky, uh, if I'm trying to do, like, up-close macro shots. <clears throat> but with this guy, it's very smooth, the transition from, you know, track to track. Um, it's, it's noisy, but that, I think that's just a product of the, the cars, because they're kind of hollow and echo and make a lot of noise um but other than that i i really like this setup here it's 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 a really neat little i i i'm just fascinated with it i find it really neat 
I don't know what else to say, honestly. Um, I'm probably going to reposition the camera again and uh, get some shots probably from like over here. Oop. And as I pull a Godzilla and tip the train over. But um, I'll probably uh, reposition and get a different shot from the inside and I'll have the train on the outside track. <clears throat> so, yeah. Alright, so I've taken the camera out of its little frame deal. I got this guy right here. That's a GoPro mount. Um, in an effort to get a slightly more... Um, better view. Sorry for the flashing light on the car. But anyways, um, it's the, the banking still isn't as evident as it really is on the camera. Um, maybe if I go like this, you'll be able to see. Yeah, that looks decent because the, the track is level but the, the car is banked. So the, the, the track itself is at an angle. Uh, if I were to say, I don't know, it's probably like a, maybe like a six, five or six degree bank. It's a decent bank. Um, but what's really neat is when the cars go into the corner at speed, they just kind of sit down like a race car and, uh, they go into the corner. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Um, what I'm going to do here is, uh, as I fumble to open my third car here, this is the, uh, the Vista car that I'm going to put on. I'm actually going to put it on the inside track and show you the clearance that you get between cars. It's actually pretty close, but they don't touch, they don't hit each other. Um, I've had two trains uh, going both ways, or, you know, two trains running simultaneously uh, going both ways. So I had my Superliner on the outside, and then I had my Bachman uh, freight train on the inside, and they were uh, traveling in opposite directions. <clears throat> and they did not touch once. No, no derailments, no anything. So, I'll reposition the camera again. And, um, too bad it doesn't focus very well. But, anyways, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to... I can't really think of anything else I need to touch on. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, um, if you want to see different pieces of track up closer, um, then, you know, feel free to, um, you know, make your voice heard in the comments. Um, ask me questions. I will do my best to answer. And, uh, you know, if you like this video, or if it helped you or anything, you know, give me a like, um, subscribe. Um, I will be doing more unboxings of the, uh, the Kato Variation series. Um, I plan on purchasing more in the future. Uh, I don't, I can't guarantee when. Um, I would say within the next week or so, I'll have another one. <clears throat> as soon as I get my, uh, my check from YouTube, um, then, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be buying more of this stuff, because I, I am, I am addicted to, uh, the model trains. I love them. So, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, uh, comment. Even if it's just to say hi, even if it's just to say whatever, I like comments. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and sorry for my poor editing skills. <laughs> it will get better, I promise.